The wag at the Christie libel trial has been a showdown between two footballers why? On day six, it was the turn of the footballers themselves. Wayne Rooney and Jamie Vardy, who were former England teammates, came face to face in the High Court in London for the first time since the case began as evidence turned to the team's Euro 2016 perf. Rooney told the court he had been tasked by England manager Roy Hodgson with the awkward job of telling Vardy that his wife, Rebecca, was causing problems and distractions for the England team due to her love of the limelight. Vardy's representatives ISSU'd a statement that said no such conversation had taken place. It read, Wayne is talking nonsense. England gave a lackluster performance during the 2016 tournament, which saw them knocked out by Iceland. Off the pitch, Mrs Vardy's enthusiasm for appearing in the tabloids, including her own column in The Sun, Rooney said his instructions came from Hodgson and Gary Neville. England's assistant they asked me as captain if I would be able to speak to Mr Vardy on issues regarding his I think we all knew it was an awkward subject, Rooney told the court. I spoke to Mr Vardy and asked him to speak to his wife, to ask his wife to calm down and not bring any issues that were off the It was an awkward situation for me. I'm sure it was an awkward situation for Mr Vardy. Hugh Tomlinson QC, for Mrs Vardy, said, ask his wife to calm down? She wasn't dancing on tables. Rooney replied, no, she wasn't as far as I was aware. He also told the court Mrs Vardy FaceTimed her husband so often during the tournament that she was almost there with the team. The FA wanted wives and girlfriends to keep a low profile and avoid the hoopla of the 2006 World Cup in Germany, where the WAGs created a media circus in baden baden Becky's media activities were causing problems and distractions, which the FA wanted to avoid, Rooney said in his witness statement. I obviously had bigger things to focus upon at the time but I agreed to speak to Jamie because it was easier than pushing back again. Rooney was challenged by Mr. Tomlinson, who suggested that the conversation with his teammate had never taken place. But Rooney, now manager of Derby County, insisted, I'm sat here under oath. I 100 PC spoke to Mr. Vardy. I remember the conversation I had with Jamie. We were sat in a games room, it was set up for the players with a dartboard, pool table. Table 10. Mr. Vardy had a can of Red Bull. I had a coffee. I remember details of that conversation because it was such an awkward moment. Dot Vardy, attending court with his wife for the first time during the case, suggested in his statement that Rooney had misremembered the Euro 2016 meeting. It read, Wayne is talking nonsense. He must be confused because he never spoke to me about issues concerning Becky's media work at Euro 2016. There was nothing to speak about. I know this because I discuss it. The warring parties sat feet apart on the same bench in court 13, separated by Mrs. Vardy's solicitor. The two men exchanged the briefest of nods when they walked into the room before Rooney began. Rooney claimed to have known almost no details about the case until he turned up in court. He described the effect on his wife, Colleen, of the last two and a half years as traumatic. He said the period after his wife's reveal post in October 2019 had made her for me and my wife, we don't want to be in this court, Mr. Rooney said. I've watched my wife over the last two and a half years really struggle with everything, becoming a different mother, a diff it's been very traumatic for my wife. In the afternoon session of the hearing yesterday, the High Court heard from two experts over issues relating to the data from both women's phones. Mr. and Mrs. Vardy left proceedings early in the afternoon because she was not feeling very well, the court was told. Ian Henderson, an expert instructed by Rebecca Vardy's lawyers, said he found it surprising that there was an absence of WhatsApp messages between her and agent Caroline Watt after Mrs. Vardy tried to export messages from her device to her solid David Sherborne. For Mrs. Rooney, put it to the expert that he described the absence of this data being caused by the uploading process as somewhat surprising, with Mr. Henderson agreeing that he remembered clearly by surprised you're saying that is not what you would expect to have happened? Mr. Sherborne at that is correct, Mr. Henderson replied. The court also heard evidence from an expert instructed by Mrs. Rooney. Matthew Blackband, who claimed there was a high probability that manual deletion was the most likely explanation for loss of data in relation to messages between Mrs. Vardy and Ms. Watt prior to October 15, 2019. Mr. Blackband also suggested that manual deletion was an explanation for the loss of data in relation to messages between the two women for the period from October 15, 2019 up to July 25, 20. It is now expected that both Mr. Tomlinson and Mr. Sherborne will give their closing speeches tomorrow. With no hearing, Mrs. Justice Stein is also expected to give her decision in writing at a later date. The case continues.